planks to curve. I also soak them in water so that I don't break them. And here's an example. I put quite a bit of water in the plastic bag. You can see there's excess. So let me squeeze some of this out. And I use quite a few paper towels. And then I'll just put several of these planks in that. Fold it over. Put it back in the plastic bag with the water. Seal it. Let that moisture soak in. And then I'll put this in the microwave for about 30 seconds. Just till it gets steamy. I don't want it to boil, but I want it to get warm so this bag will start expanding with the air. That's when you can shut it off. One area that I failed to mention is when you attach the bulkhead frames to the keel, especially at the front of the ship and the back of the ship, you need to file or sand down the edges so that when the planks curve, they can lie flush against that bulkhead. You can see in this picture where it is white from where I had sanded it down or filed it down. So you just need to work on that before you start planking. And you can take planks and test fit them and make sure that they'll rest flat against each one of those sanded off points. Okay, I've uh, steamed some of my planks. Actually, I already cut this one off. All I do is I guesstimate the angle that I would want, and you can possibly see here. And I just slice it at an angle, more than I wanted. So I just want to get it started, try and get it as lined up the best that I can. And then I'm pretty good at uh, putting these little clips on here. Put one there, one on the very edge. Kind of hold this in place. Now while that's holding it, I just kind of double check and make sure that this is going to fit how I want it to. And then this will end up coming down here and it kind of folds. And then I leave this, I don't know if you can see. I leave this excess point right here. I'll leave that on there. So what I've been doing is I alternate either each other frame member between this that takes longer to dry the tacky glue because I can kind of squeeze it in there. A little drop. There we go. So I'll do every other one. And it's just a small dot. Especially when I get down here to the end, like I'll, I'll hesitate or stop here. Now let me do the super glue and the ones that I didn't touch yet. I can. Sorry, the bad camera angle. Now this uh, this one's probably dry enough. I can remove it, and I can try and use it down here. Give that a little extra support. Kind of hold this in place and then I'll after it sets up I'll repeat probably I switch to the other side go one this you know back and forth until I get all the way down and I'll show you that finished product
Okay, I've finished putting the planks on, and I'll begin getting some of the rough parts off of this. Then I'll do a lot of it by hand also, but to start with, I can use this. Once you've sanded it as smooth as you want, then uh, I'm going to go ahead and stain this. And again, I don't mind it being rough looking. So what I've decided to go with is I'm going to, I'm going to stick with the black cherry. So I've done it on that side. And what I do is I take a small piece of cloth, dip it in the stain, and then I just rub it into the wood. And I don't mind if I get a little bit over on this side piece because I'll paint that again. That's actually a paint that I've put on there. Even though I stained it a dark walnut to start with, I sanded a good portion of that off. So it just adds some darkness to the black cherry, which I prefer. And it may give it a little uh, variation in the color, which that's also good. It'll make it look like it's an older, beat-up pirate ship. Okay, I'm going to let that dry for, soak in for about 10 minutes. Then I'll come back and I'll wipe that with a clean cloth. For this ship, I'm going to try uh, tongue oil finish. So. It says apply a liberal amount. So The tongue oil worked amazing. Follow the directions on the can. You put it on, you come back several minutes later, wipe it off, wait 24 hours, and then repeat. But it gives a great finish, it absorbs into the wood, great protection. You can put this on with a rag, but I use less. If I use a small brush, and this is a small project. You're going to let this dry for about 5-10 minutes and then kind of rub it in and then come back 24 hours later and do another coat and then buff it really well.